And dividends are an important part of overall returns. So that's why I included a column on my create an amazing stock portfolio spreadsheet, which I'll link down in the description. And it's why I included a column for total dividends received. As you can see, uh, that's entered manually here and uh, talk a little bit why the reason it has to be manual is because it's difficult information to automate, unfortunately. Um, total dividends receive figures into the net current value, which is what is used to calculate total gain and loss, dollars, percentage, and uh, ultimately annualized gain and loss. Like I mentioned in the post and in the um, Create an Amazing Stock Portfolio Spreadsheet video, I'll also link that in the description, is that total dividends received should be entered for each individual stock. If you decide to enter your lots separately, like say DEO here, you purchased 100 shares at one point and then 30 shares at another point rather than 130 shares all at once, then you'll want to break those dividends down by lot just to get an accurate uh, total gain and loss for each lot. Hopefully that makes sense. So. Where do you go about retrieving this information? Uh, as I mentioned in the post, the, the ideal place is uh, from your broker. Now, I give a little screenshot here of my account from TD Ameritrade. And for this video, I tried to chase down where to find this information for some of the bigger brokers, uh, your E-Trades, Schwab's, um, what is it, Fidelity in them, and um, surprisingly, this information was kind of hard to find, you know, to because I wanted to be able to say, if you have an E-Trade account, go click here, here, here. And um, yeah, like I said, it was uh, not easy information to get a hold of. So I can only show you firsthand for TD Ameritrade. You know, hopefully it's not too hard to find for your particular broker, and it, it should follow more or less the same logic. It, now, it should be readily available information. Anyhow, uh, on TD Ameritrade, as I show here, you just click on the Transactions tab, select Dividends from the list, and then you'll have to enter your symbol, which is fine, and enter a date range. And uh, that's it. You know, it brings up, uh, does a search, brings up total amount of dividends. you got to kind of calculate them manually, but um, not too much trouble. Now, if for whatever reason your broker doesn't do that, then I recommend going to the NASDAQ dividend history page. This is the best tool that I've found. You can enter a symbol here. Uh, you want to click on dividend history here. Okay, so here you can find a dividend history uh, going back a very long time. So this is, of course, going to be per share. And then you're going to have to do a little work on your own to figure it out. So. You know, if we look here back on the portfolio spreadsheet, VLY, we can see we purchased it in on July 16th, 2014, 200 shares. So in this case, we would know we want to look at the, the ex-dividend date and uh, pick the ex-dividend date that's after that purchase date. OK, so July of 2014. So it's basically every dividend from here forward. And copy it should be able to copy that information you can create a new tab and I would probably say control shift V to just drop in the information so there you go and then all we're gonna do here is say equals per share dividend amount times the number of shares we have and it looks like it was 11 cents per share consistently ever since and um, so we just type in equals the column with the dividend times our 200 shares. Copy that up, and there we go. We've got our total here, some $594. As I mentioned, uh, this spreadsheet wasn't a little dated at this point, but we would just update that, and there we go. It's going to update our amounts, our net current value, total gain and loss, etc. Um, again, the ideal way is to get it from your broker. The backup way is to go to nasdaq.com and look at dividend history or some similar site. You know, just take your amount of shares times the per share dividend. There you go. A little labor intensive. It would be ideal for it to be more automated, but 
you know we work with the the tools we have uh if there is a better way please feel free to comment let me know i'd love to know it uh, i'll make one last point here uh, i also have a create an amazing dividend tracking spreadsheet it's uh, proven to be pretty popular and i will make a, an in-depth video on it at one point but uh, I'll, I'll link to it down in the description course and uh, just wanted to bring it to your attention it's a situation where real quick where you can put in the stock you own the number of shares the purchase price which will help with the was it yield on cost i think it's called and then you've got a separate screen where you enter your individual dividend data in see all that here and what it'll do for you then is uh, automatically update these pivot tables where you can look at your, your yield yield on cost all these uh, kind of cool analyses that you can make dividend growth to kind of um, analyze each individual stock and look at its merits from a dividend paying standpoint so you can judge it on that one aspect by itself check that out and like i said video for that is um coming soon that's all i got thanks for watching see you